Good evening. Welcome to Injustice Investigation. I am your host, Al Scott. As always, I thank you all for tuning in to our live broadcast tonight. Tonight, we are going back to Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, there have been some updates uh, on Ms. Robinson's case, nothing major. And tonight is going to be an open conversation. We've uh, the numbers on the screen there if you want to call in tonight and share your thoughts or your views about um, what happened. The number is 318-946-4071. Uh, all we ask, if you can, be maybe three minutes or less. Sometimes we know that don't happen, so we'll just deal with it as it comes. Ms. Taylor, good evening to you. I love you big time. Thank you for joining us tonight. Always a pleasure to see you. Um, before we... <sighs> We get off into it. I'm going to play something for you all. And uh, you probably heard it already, but I'm, I'm going to play it here, here tonight. This is uh, Shaqu uh, Shaquayla's dad. It was, they still attacked her, man. It wasn't no physical office. They attacked her, man. I mean, it seemed like from my daughter was asleep now, you know, uh, for all of them to be in that room. And then, you know, they come in there like, oh no, spoke up or whatever the way it seemed like they attacked her, ma'am. And she naked, ma'am. You know, for a father. You see that video, ma'am? That was just, my daughter's not a fighter, ma'am. She's not a fighter, not at all. For them to do what they did, ma'am, it just seemed like it was a plot because they couldn't have did that over here, ma'am. They couldn't have did over here. They couldn't have did that over here, you know, where her friends, all her friends are. You know, it wouldn't it have went down like that, ma'am. They don't realize, you know, what they done, man. They took a hole, they took a hole, they, they, they just robbed, they just put a hole in my heart, man. That was my only child. That's just heartbroken, man. One thing sticks with me after hearing the father speak, they don't know what they've done. They put a hole in me. They put a hole in me. That's my only child. Uh, if I say their actions was diabolical, that would be an understatement. I don't think there's a word in the English dictionary to describe what happened in Mexico. Shaquilla's mother, she spoke about the last time she spoke with her daughter. Her daughter told her they had a chef and what they were getting ready to go eat. Okay, I love you. I love you too. I'll talk to you tomorrow. That call never came. That call never came. A child's life was interrupted. For what? I don't know. The only thing that I can think of is what some of you are probably thinking. It had to have been jealousy in there somewhere. It had to be. But she was an entrepreneur. She was doing her own thing. She had hopes. She had dreams. And they they got interrupted. We've heard the term sleeping with the enemy. And we know what that means. But sometimes, whether we know it or not, the one that we trust the most, the one that we give our darkest secrets to, that can be our enemy. And we can't see it. Because we love this person. We respect this person. They've been tight for a long time. I can't see that. Ms. Robinson couldn't see it. She couldn't see it because she wasn't. She was raised to do the right thing. To see good in everybody. And she couldn't see it. She couldn't see it. Uh, Miss Harlins, I'm gonna preach it tonight like I feel it. I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, 
before the night show, and we're gonna we're gonna get to the, the people who have been accused of this. Um, a lot of people called me. My baby, my uh, sister Brenda called me. She was pissed about it. A little before our time, my brother Scotty called me, and and he said what he saw, and I wrote it down. Uh, what, uh, wrote it right. He said what he saw reminded him of if you in somebody's house or in your house and you see a roach on the floor you stomp it and you go on you don't even bother to pick it up somebody else will get it and he made a lot of sense he made a lot of sense uh miss west says jealousy that's all that i can say but my thing is this here i just if I can ask them anything other than why in the hell you did it, which it doesn't matter, whatever your reason you, you did it, don't make any earthly sense. But it, one question I would like to ask them all, what was the conversation about on the flight back to North Carolina when you were missing one? Evidently, it didn't bother you leaving her dead. What you talk about? What you talk about on the flight? How you gonna spend her money? You did this and you did that. Or what you gonna talk about how we saw her coming in and took her home? Excited, good spirits. Where y'all at? Don't take all day, all night to get naked. She's ready to enjoy herself, but not only enjoy herself, she's ready to enjoy herself in her friends. But little did she know. Little did she know that she was walking to her death. For evil, Alexander, I agree, I agree. Somebody says beat her and then leave her like she was trash. And that's exactly what they did. I put a post out yesterday and I said, I, this is not a, a fact. This is just my opinion. And I'm not trying to pass my opinion off as a fact. It is just what I said. It is my opinion. But tonight I can confirm that I was right. When, when I watched this child, this young lady get, get beat, I think it lasted maybe eight, eight minutes, something like that over 30 some blows. And so the woman is beaten up, unmerciful. She would she beat this woman worse than Massa would beat a nigga. And she didn't let up. And I can hear her friend in the back. Do something, fight back. You ain't gonna do nothing. You can't fight back? My baby sister called it and I didn't. She said no. About that time, her spleen had been cracked and her neck was broken. She couldn't raise her head up. She couldn't move. She was in severe dying pain. So why did the person who was beating her said she can't fight back. Must have been a reason. Can't be a reason. Was she full of alcohol? You put drugs in it? Smoking weed? Crack? You, she can't fight back. Oh, I know why you're saying that. Two reasons. Because you think you just that bad of a fighter. Or either she wasn't the only one beating on her. The other two women, we're going to get to them. They had their share in it. I guess the one that closed the case would be, I think her name was Winter, correct me if I'm wrong, would body slam. She was already near death. When she was sitting down, she was going out of conscious stand. And for a low down, dirty, trifling, insignificant, Sap sucker to stand there filming 
and acts up, you ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing. She couldn't do nothing. Whether she knew how to fight or not, at that particular time, the video that we saw, that wasn't the only beating. It was a beating before that. It was a beating after that. Friends don't kill friends. They don't. They look out for one another. I agree with the father. This was a plot. This was planned. This was premeditated. Quote me. This was premeditated. Quote me. This was premeditated. And then you, you have the audacity to sit with the family for one, two, three, four days until the autopsy report comes. And now I can't find y'all. Y'all done disappeared on me. Y'all done shut your social media accounts down. But listen, that would not stop, stop law enforcement from reaching out, touching y'all. Because they coming. They coming. I don't care who turned the tape in. You don't get no deal. There is no deal. Everybody should be charged with murder. Everybody. I said everybody. Everybody should be charged with murder. There is no deal. You didn't go, y'all didn't go light on Miss Robinson, but now you want a deal. First of all, there should not have been a, a tape for you to turn in. Same thing make you laugh will make you cry in prison until the day you die. Monica Poole says, uh, I wouldn't give them nothing but murder. And that's it. That's it. I'm going to put some of you guys' comments on the screen so that all those people can see what, what you're saying. Uh, Ms. Uh, Thomas says, this is so heartbreaking. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Uh, you, you, you can't help but get emotional on this. Because I have, I mean, I haven't always done right, but I haven't always done wrong either. But when we, 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 you, you sat there and, and you watched this woman get beat to death. And you listening to an individual that's recording it for his own or their own entertainment a day later. You can't do nothing. It's, it's, it's a joke to them. They're laughing. And when she walks into the room looking for her friends. Oh, all of my friends here. But it's like she stepped into the lion's den. While she was preparing to go out and enjoy them, they were planning to kill her. They were planning to kill her. The mother said each one of them had a different story as to what happened. Uh, I think it was Kalik is uh, supposed to have been, I think, the best friend. The best friend. The best friend. Um, Malik is the gentleman in the braids. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me now, please. Uh, let me put up, I'm going to put up another uh, uh, comment here. It's Nelson. Nelson says, uh, not one of them was going to stop it because it seems like it was premeditated murder. If you don't say anything else doing this live feed, you just preach. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. So the young man with the braids on, that was the one uh, saying, why you can't fight back? Why you can't fight back? You ain't, you, you're not going to do nothing. It seems like if, if she wasn't able to do nothing, you would have done something. But you couldn't have done something because you would have been out of character. Everybody had a role to play. He played his. Everybody had a role to play. Everybody. And now you're running from here to there. You can run, but you can't hide. Eventually, they're going to touch you. 
eventually they're going to lay hands on you. This might sound ugly, but if 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 if, if the justice system don't get you first. I believe street justice would be appropriate. I have no love for you. I have no understanding. I have no feelings for you. Your bodies without souls. Your monsters in human form. If jealousy is not detected at an early age and dealt with, it will mess you up on the inside and it will either destroy you or somebody around you will be destroyed because of you and your jealous attitude. But I bet she paid for a lot of y'all meals. Probably paid some of y'all bills. Jealousy. Jealousy. The funny, you know the thing about jealousy? Jealousy is always close to what it hates. Jealousy is always close to what it hates. But sometimes some people can't see. And then some people just can't see what you're trying to get them to see. Or some people just don't want to see. And that's dangerous. You took an individual away from this planet that was part of what's right with this country. She was doing the right thing. And you interrupted her life for good because you all messed up on the inside because you're diabolical on the inside because she's got something and she's doing something you can't do. If you should be mad with anybody, about what she was doing or what she had in life. You should be mad with God because God blessed her to do what she was doing. Talk, take it up with God. Tell God you're pissed about it. But you leave her. You leave her. You leave her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, put this quick uh, comment up that we're going to I'm gonna finish that. It says, uh, I'm a mother. Uh, I'm lost for words. This is cold and heartless. This is Mr. Yolanda Riches. Uh, and they need to pay. Give them all the highest penalty. Baby, a mother is the best detective. Yes, premeditated murder. They are going to get it all one way or another. That's 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 that woman's child. That's that woman's child. The day approaches when you have to answer to this. You have to answer to this. I Winters. Winters is the individual who they said body slapped her. Allegedly, the other girl, uh, Alicia, or something to the extent, allegedly, she was the one turned to. Uh, this uh video in allegedly i hadn't i haven't verified that but here's the thing about turning that in that, that was a wonderful thing you did thank you for turning it in now turn around and let me put you in some handcuffs because there should not there wasn't one god fearing in the bunch not one not one person in the bunch that had a conscience that they was listening to not one not one person in the bunch that said this could be me. This could be my child. No, I thought I was gonna, I'm not going to do this, y'all. Baby, let's go. Let's run. Not one. Not one. Not one. Sometimes I've always been for, uh, it's a woman's right to choose abortion. This is why abortion must stay the law of the land. Because these individuals, they should have been dealt with at an early age. I said it, and I mean it. And I'm not going to apologize for it. They should have been aborted because they, they, as long as they walk in planet Earth, you in danger, you in danger, I'm in danger. Everybody's in danger. And maybe they've done this before. We just don't know about it. Now, let me get to something someone said earlier about why mainstream media is not doing enough. Let, let, me, let me say this about... Uh, <clears throat> 
Miss West says, uh, God had plans for this young lady, but they were too evil to see it. Amen. 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 Uh, I am a uh, poet. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Uh, we, we, some people uh, are kind of upset about mainstream media. They don't feel that mainstream media is, is, is giving this case enough attention. Let me say this. Here. Number one, this case is no longer in the United States. This case is all over the world. It's, it's, it's out there. It's out there. But now watch mainstream media. We keep waiting for somebody to fix us. We keep waiting for somebody to help us. They're not going to fix us. They're not going to help us. It's us against them. When you see little small guys like me starting something up like this here, start making that your mainstream media and quit waiting on them to film something that you can film or support somebody that's doing something to, to do some good for this country. Mainstream media, don't interrupt them. If they don't want to film it, they don't want to film it. Push your other people out there, and then soon they're standing neck to neck with mainstream media. I'm not going to bug you to put this out there. If you don't want to put it out there, cool, I'm fine. Let's put it out. Somebody do it. It's up to us. We, we, black people, we wait to, we wait on people too much. We waited on Dr. King, waited on Malcolm X, waited on Megan's efforts, waited on Al Sharpton. You're waiting on Benjamin Crumb. Stop waiting. Get up off your butts and do it yourself. With the technology that the world has, anybody can do it today. Anybody. And even without a lot of mainstream media covering the case, guess what? It's out there. So we don't need them. We don't need them. We don't need them. It's us against them. Russell Johnson says, uh, I'm praying for the family. April Williams says, uh, they said the white girl body slammed her down on the ground. That what the video shows uh, that she did. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I, again, I think her name is uh, Winter. Again, this is all, all allegedly. Okay. So we, I can't, I can't call nothing right now, but I'm just telling you what I, what I've seen, what I've pulled up, what people have told me. Uh, Cause I, I never want to speak, uh, Immature on some things, as well, and then I be sitting up there telling you all the lies and stuff. But uh, we got to help us. We have to help us. This young lady, she was going places. She she had dreams, she had hopes, she was achieving them, and they were interrupted. So you lie to the mother. Each one tells a different story to the mother. Now, I'm going to talk about the uh, uh, alcohol pause in it. Alcohol pause. Well, we're going to rule that out real fast, okay? Uh, from what I know, there was no alcohol poisoning found in her and i don't think any alcohol was in her i don't think don't quote me that could be wrong well but here's what i know about being poisoned by food or alcohol it's not gonna bruise your face up it's not gonna blacken your eyes it's not gonna split your lips it's not gonna break your neck it's not gonna crack your back Never have, and I doubt if it ever will do that. So, uh, I'm gonna put this. Um, April Jackson says I've only seen one video, and that was the trans women, a woman uh, beating her. Yes, exactly, exactly. There are some more out there, though. Okay, but um, so with, with that being said, and it it cannot be uh, alcohol poisoning. But if it was alcohol poisoning, well, I'm kind of lost. Don't know everything. If it's alcohol poisoning, hypothetically, I don't know. How, let's say all y'all sitting around drinking alcohol. How is it that she was the only one who received alcohol poison? Nobody else did. Hello? Can you explain it to me? And how do you know it's alcohol poison? What do you do, doctor? Forensics? 
That's all part. So we're just going to believe you. Take you at your word. Get it back. $6,000. Put it in the casket. Have it from him. And life goes on. Bull. No. 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 Not only are you evil killers, you're terrible liars. You're some dumb criminals. All of y'all together don't give me one brain. Bonnie Fife when it says something as preposterous as alcohol parts. And we're going to leave it alone. Well, what happened to her face? What, who was that what, was beating on the floor? What? I don't know. I ain't even see that. I can't be upset with Miss Robinson for being kind-hearted. I can't be upset with her for being, for being loving. I can't be upset with her for being raised up the right way. I can't. She did nothing wrong. If you want to say she did something wrong, okay. She, what she did wrong was trusting all of them. When somebody trusts you in life, whatever you do, don't let them down. Don't let them. They trust you for a reason. I cannot believe a gr grown man stood there and did nothing but become cheerleaders. Grown men. And every time I hear that sap sucker say, you ain't gonna do nothing? She can't do nothing, sap sucker. Do it for her! Come on, do it! Oh, you can't, because you're in on it. Nothing about you says man. You're a punk. You're a sissy. You're a monster in human form. You don't have a conscience. When you get to prison, you're going to make it there unless you kill yourself. When you get to prison, or either uh, street justice gets you. But if you make it to prison, they got something for you. Named Big Bump. You're going to get it. Because you got people all over the world pissed at what, happened, at what they saw. And then she was stacking, trying to humiliate her. But you humiliated your damn selves. You're, you're nasty. You're insignificant. You're existing just to be existed. You're, you're a wasted nut. I can't stand there. I want to do self -suck. I swear to God, I can't. If I, if I find out where you're at, if I don't send the police to knock on your door, ain't a God up in heaven. If I don't do it, if I don't do it, ain't a God up in heaven. You can run for so long. You ain't got no damn money. You can run for so long. They're going to get you. They're going to get you. They're going to get you. Um, I'm gonna, let me ask a, 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 a question. Uh, this dude, he said, I was wondering, was it a man or a woman? Okay. Uh, Maybe somebody else, somebody here knows the true answer to that. I'm thinking it was a uh, a man at one time, or a man that was feminine ways, something like that. Uh, uh, I hadn't verified it, but I was told that it it was a uh, a guy who was, you know, gay, uh, and I, I I I was okay with believing that because of the way. The punches was being thrown. So he hits, he, she hits like a dude, but it's really a woman. So I haven't verified that part either. Uh, but I do remember something that they slashed off the head hair about a gap or something. And uh, most people are saying that it, it was a, a a man that had a sex change. Again, uh, nothing's been verified on that. Someone told me on YouTube today to know it was a um, it was a woman. She was, it was born a woman. So uh, we, we're still looking into that. And when we get to answer, um, uh, okay, wait a minute, I think we got it right here. Okay, okay. Uh, Perez, uh, Monique says, it's been confirmed she is a woman. People that went to the, uh, the high school with her confirmed it. Okay, thank you so much. So that's your answer. It is, uh, it is a, um, a woman. Thank you so much. And, uh, and bringing up school, I mean, a lot of these people she went to, uh, I think, college with, and uh, and they decided that um, she needed to leave. So I don't know what for. You know, I, I've I mean, I, I just 
even if we said jealousy, if you can pinpoint one thing that they would be jealous of that will cause them to kill her, what would it be? Because I don't know. I mean, I just know what I've read about her, what people have told me that came in contact with her through life. But if it's jealousy, then, then ha jealousy uh, has to be pinpointed on something that somebody is doing that you cannot do. Can be well that jealous? Hey, what? I, I don't know. It's got to be something there. Sometimes we we can be jealous at people because of the way other people treat them. The respect that they give them because respect is never given it's always earned that can irk you sometimes because they respect that person and they just walk right past you again respect is never given it's always earned that could be it sometimes you can be in a shotgun house on a mattress and people are jealous about that jealousy is a dangerous a dangerous Okay, Miss Pierre says she was fighting like that because she had hate for her. Nobody would keep beating a friend that's not even defending themselves. Wow. That's, that's deep. That's heavy. Uh, you preaching. That's it. When I beat you like that, I'm, 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 I'm trying to beat you. I mean, I'm trying to beat you. I have no, no feelings for you. I, I just want to beat you up. And I, if I can beat you all night, I will. That's when you you don't know, see that person as a human. You see them as, as what you are. You see them as an animal or an inanimate object. And so this is something that you, you didn't just think of overnight. This is something that you didn't come up with when you're on a flight getting ready to go to Mexico. You had been planning this day for a very long time and you were not planning this day by yourself. That's an embarrassment to you, but you don't give a damn because you're bad. You, you, you don't beat her to death. And you have. Her life might be over. But justice hadn't got started yet. It hasn't got. People like us, little small channels, we have to keep it out there because we don't worry about mainstream media. We know what they might do and what they might not do. We don't even look that way. We keep going. We keep it going. And why do people going? Because we're putting pressure on law enforcement. We're putting pressure on the FBI. Get everybody. Everybody on deck. Get them. Get them. This will not be uh, a cold case. Boom! This will not be a cold case. No. So when you keep the pressure on them, they begin to work overtime because some of us are getting impatient. I want them locked up. I want to see them in handcuffs. I want to see the mugshot, but please let me see you put the handcuffs on. And whoever, Winter, whatever your name is, uh, uh, that turned the uh, cell phone in, Okay. No deal. So the girl that was throwing all the blows is a what was her name? Dash Dash or something like that. Was throwing the blows. And she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't stop. So I knew that that, that child or that young lady wasn't beat for like eight, nine, or ten minutes. She probably had been beat for several minutes, maybe almost close to an hour. They would take turn. And so that's why she can't fight back. That's why she can't. She weak as a lamb. She can't fight back now because she she can't stand up. She can't stand up. She can't hold her neck up. I bet they didn't mean for her to die. Well, it's too damn late for that. I'm looking at it. You meant for her to die. You was a beast. You was a wild, untamable monster. Throw in your hands. Untamable. You were wild. It's like he was on Mojo or something. And you lied to the woman that God, the one that was blessed by God to bring her into this, this world. You lied to her. Alcohol poison. And each one had a different story. 
Y'all done. Y'all done. As much as you can, people. We got to keep this story going. We got to keep it going. We have to keep it going. I don't want you to look at it as if it was your child. That's the wrong way to look at it. Listen to your conscience. Don't worry about what mainstream media is not doing or won't do. You can do it. However, whatever technology you're using to watch me tonight, just one push of that and you make a global connection. Think about this. As long as they are free, everybody's in danger. Everybody's in danger. Nothing about that boy says, man, you're you standing there and you... I don't have to know somebody and it don't have to be that bad of a fight. I got to get in there and I got to separate you. I got to. I got to. That's what a real man would do. That's what a real caring woman would do. First of all, a caring woman, especially with children, wouldn't have been in that conversation. And a man, not a boy, because we think that our age makes us a man. No, 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 don't believe that. A man wouldn't have been in that. A man would say, no, we're not going to do that. Especially, that's my friend. I don't care if you don't like her. No. This was something they have been plotting for a very, very, very long time. And I remember I got a call one day from my sister. She said, there's a video that I want you to see, but I don't want you to see it, but you need to see it. Miss um, Adams says, we have to demand justice. Amen. Amen. We have to. We have to. Um, and so they sent me the video. And it was somebody being jumped on that, that I know, that I know well. I got angry, I got frustrated, I cried, I was mad. Because by the time I saw it, some, some days had passed, so I can't do anything about it. But that person still lived. So I cannot imagine what Mr. Robinson and Mrs. Robinson is going through because that person is still living, but their child was killed. If I told them I, I understand, I'd be telling them a lot, because I wouldn't understand, I don't understand. But I do know this, that, that love should not separate us because someone lives out of state, out of city. They shouldn't separate us from caring about one another, from doing the right thing. Don't ever look at it like, man, it could have been me, could have been my job. It's the wrong way. It's just the right thing to do. It's just that simple. Everybody is somebody's child. Whether you like them or not, they're somebody's child. A couple of things before we get out of tonight. If you don't like blacks, and we're going somewhere different for me, if you don't like blacks, if you don't like whites, you don't like Mexicans, if you don't like gays, LGBT, let me say this to you. And you, you want to rid the country of them because you consider them to be evil, nasty, uh, monsters, right? You may shoot and kill a few, but you will never rid the country of that that you hate. If your hate is that strong that you will go and shoot up a nightclub and kill people because of who they are or what they are and because of what you think and who you think they should be. You either accept somebody for who they are or you go the other way. That's what you do. If you can't deal with it, you can shoot till Jesus comes. You will not get them all. You need help. You need help. Everybody should be free when they step outside of their, their homes like they're free inside of their homes. I don't care about their sexual preferences, what color they are, or their political beliefs. 
I never want to be around somebody and they are uncomfortable being around me because they think or they know I don't like their style or whatever. People, we got to get it together. We're a dying race. We're a dying race. Speaking of a dying race, as we keep, I'm going back to um, mainstream media. We keep talking about mainstream media, not doing this and not doing that. When are you all going to call the NAACP and tell the NAACP? It's not enough to just speak out on, on a, a, a black person that's been killed by a white person. Black on black is a crime. Why y'all don't march on this? I don't care what it, what it started out to be back in the day. Things have changed. If you are for right, if you believe that everybody on planet Earth is a, a person, a human, how can you separate black on black crime and white on black as if this is a terrible thing here but us over here killing one another pray about it god will tell you what to do you're a hypocrite so if when you when you begin to point fingers at mainstream media point them at the naacp too you have to do that right is right and wrong is wrong there's no other way about it I, I can see with anybody, anywhere, private or public. When you don't love yourself, I understand why you hate people. Because when you love yourself, whatever you want for you and your family, it's the same that you want for somebody else's and their family. If you don't want it done to you, how can you be okay with watching it being done to somebody else and not say nothing? Black on black crime is a serious issue. And if a civil war breaks out and it's coming, we don't have to worry about a lot of blacks getting killed. We probably only have two black people on planet Earth left. Comical, but it's real. Watch those that said they love you. Watch those that say, I got your back right or wrong. I don't want you to have my back and I'm wrong. That makes you wrong. There's nothing wrong with trusting people. But sometimes people can make, make it so hard to trust others that's good because of what a few people have done to us. Let no one steal your joy. Do not become a person of self-made misery. I can't. I would love to play, know how to play the drums, but I can't. I can't. I would like to blow the sax, but I can't. I stay in my lane. I stay in my lane. This is what I do. I like this. I love this. This me. We can't do everything. To be jealous of someone is, is cancer, and it becomes an epidemic. And it spreads and it spreads. And when you become jealous of someone, you begin to spread lies too. You begin to spread lies. I've seen some diabolical, hurtful videos in my time. But nothing like the one I saw the other day. Nothing. Nothing like the one I saw the other day. It's nothing you can do that would bring closure. In my eyes, there is no such thing as uh, closure. It's not. But you cannot get away from what you all did. If there's an ounce of God in you, if there's an ounce of God in you, if there is an ounce of God in you, man up, woman up, turn yourselves in. Whether you turn yourself in or not, you're going in. I promise you that. Will it be any lighter if you turn yourself in? I hope not. I hope not. So, lady, Mama, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. She's excited. In her voice, you could hear her saying, where y'all at? She's ready. This my, these are my people here. My people. But they was huddled up in another room discussing her execution. We'll try to keep you all up to date on this story. Uh, some things that come out, I may not 
put it out yet unless I can verify it for uh, that will sit well with me. I'm never interested in getting it out first. I want to make sure that we get it out right. So there may be a lot of pictures floating around on other channels and stuff. Uh, we're not going to do it yet. They are coming. We're going to put some out tomorrow. But uh, it's our time. We always want to make sure that we get it right. But if you if you do anything that I can help you, whether they live with you or not, you know what I'm saying? Tell them you love them. Whether they're, 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 they're kids or adults, tell them to watch out for who they call friends. Even if they, they've never done them anything wrong in life, watch them stay. That's your most deadliest person is the one you type with. The one you type with. And if she couldn't fight, okay, I don't fault her for that. She wasn't raised like that. That makes it even more degrading for you self suckers to beat her like that. If you want to beat somebody, go talk to Mike Tyson. Get in the ring with him. Go around too with him. You all are nothing but scars. You're existing just to be existing. It, this this is ugly, but I don't give a damn. I, I hope I don't. I hope you don't get caught. I would rather street justice deal with you. That's just the way I feel. I got to keep it real, whether you agree with it or not. I want street justice to deal with you. You in life, you can pick how you respond to any situation. That's up to you. The only thing you cannot do is choose the penalty for your actions. You can't. You don't have a sense on that. You don't. I hope they show you no leniency. Uh, I remember one reporter said he did. He went and knocked on a couple of doors and uh, well, the last known address is uh, Nobody answered. Nobody was there and stuff. You know, they shut all their social media accounts down. But here's one thing I know that they've done. People do it all the time. Been so long time. They have other accounts set up. Some of them sap suckers probably in the midst of this live feed tonight. They may put a white face up. You know what I'm saying? It could be them. They, they come to find out what we know. Well, naturally, we're not dumb. So if if we do know anything that could jeopardize you getting caught, dummy, you think we were saying? You were sick? Someone made a comment the other day. I'm like, hmm. comments tells me they either that's them or a family member or a friend. But one thing you can never do is come on my channel and disrespect the dead or disrespect the family. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. I love you all. I appreciate you all. Uh, let me get this one last comment. Uh, Miss Tyson says, I'm praying for strength and guidance for the family. Uh, amen. Indeed, indeed. Uh, they needed your prayers last night. They need them tonight. They're going to need them tomorrow. They're going to need them. Uh, they are. So when you go down on your knees tonight, call their names. Check on your children, especially if you have young children. Don't let society raise your children. You raise them. As always, I uh, appreciate you all uh, joining me tonight. I don't know if this is going to be. I know we have, we're have we doing a video tomorrow night on YouTube, I think. And we may do one more here, I think, um, before some things change and stuff. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please, please, I beg you, share the video. Share the video. Share the video. If you're able, if you're financially able, please make a donation. And then if you make the right donation, we can become neck to neck with uh, uh, mainstream media, and I can buy cigars and coffee. I'm Al Scott with Injustice Investigations. Remember, I am not always right, and you are not always wrong. To the family of Miss Robinson, I offer you my sincere and deepest condolences. I love you. Good night, everybody.